Hey guys, this is Tony with the uh, RV Barn Aluminium. We are going to be leaving and taking a short trip uh, about four hours away. Uh, we considered it short. So it's just a, a long weekend for us. We want to just get out. We want to get some time in the RV and just work and all this COVID. We're just ready to, to hit the road. So before I get on the road, we're going to do a couple little things here in the RV that kind of uh, annoy us a little bit. <laughs> One of the problems we have is when we're going down the road in the RV, uh, the, this drawer and this drawer, they slide out while we're going down the road. And it's more of an annoyance than anything. It doesn't hurt anything. And uh, between that and up in this cabinet right there, we've got a piston cylinder that uh, the screw came out or the rivet broke from one to two. So I'm going to put a new rivet in that or put a new screw in it and uh, fix those two little items before we hit the road because uh, it's just two of those little annoyances that we'd like to get fixed. So uh, I know what's wrong with the drawer somewhat. So uh, let me take a look at it and show you what's going on. All right. So under these drawers right here is a latch. This is the latch that holds these drawers shut. And up on the drawer, on top of the drawer, the drawer comes in. And it goes into this hole and then this slaps shut and holds it in so what usually happens is is inadvertently that gets pushed in so a while back i had made this little thingamajiggy hooky and i use this to to reach under reach underneath the cabinet into that hole and i pull that latch back out so that it'll, it'll catch again you can see how it is right now it's flat that that catch right there it, it's it's in it's not popped out so i'm going to use my tool here and i'm going to grab it if i can do it while i got the camera and i'm going to pull it out okay what i've done is i removed the drawer so that you can see this better Looks like I got some electronics on here. I'm gonna take a look at it and find out what that controls. So this is the drawer latch. And what'll happen is I've already knocked it into the open position, but whenever you shut your drawer, your drawer comes in and it has a piece that goes in right in this hole in here. And when it does when it does that, this will snap shut and hold. That's what locks your drawers in place to keep them from opening while you're going down the road. But what's going on is, is that this will get closed one of these twos will get closed when it needs to be open when you're shutting for when you're shutting the door so what i did is i had made myself a little tool it's just a a rod with a hook on the end and a, and a, a little grabber on that end and so i can reach underneath the cabinet stick it inside that hole and pull it and it'll pull that that drawer back into the open position and that allows you to once again shut the drawer and those two locking mechanisms will grab uh, this one's a little loose here looks like I got it uh, looks like they screwed it ingeniously if you look they put the screw right at the edge of the wood and the wood is split out now back there I'm gonna put a little bit of wood glue on that and a clamp and I'm going to move those screws from right here where it's it's right at the edge of the board and I'm going to move it to the back so that it's screwed into this block right there. That's an easy fix. It's probably part of the problem too. This one uh, seems to be okay. I'll leave that one be and uh, yep, that'll be a quick little fix. Let me get to that. All right, so I took that uh, closing mechanism off and as you can tell, this block of wood is thoroughly broken out and loose and as you can tell there the just in sad shape I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out I'm gonna put some glue down in here down in this crack here also across here we'll put a clamp on it to clamp it to hold it shut and then I'm going to re reinstall this drawer closer I'll probably put the screw though it'll go in the same spot but the screw itself, I'll, I'll move the screw itself into the back and screw it down into that block of wood. That's what I'm gonna do.
Got the old trusty wood glue out, specifically made for, well, wood. And especially since the wood itself is what is split here, I would say that's going to be the best product for it. This, I'm going to squirt it down into the cracks of where the wood is splintering. Kind of, I'm not pushing hard, squirting it down in there, but I'm definitely putting it down in the crack. I'm just going to use this to hold it out a little bit while I squirt the wood glue down there. And then we'll put the wood right in here. Let that drip down in. If you don't have these little paint brushes, get yourself to a hobby shop or hobby lobby. Walmart might have them if they have a uh, if they have a craft section, they'll have them there. Between these and the uh, popsicle sticks and craft sticks, and you cannot. You cannot beat them for whenever you're doing repairs. All right, now that's squeegeeing out a little bit, and that is all right. That just means that we got enough on it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on it. I'm going to put I'm going to put it to the side. So I'll probably go ahead and put that part back on even while it's wet. It does not need to be squeezed hard. It just needs to be squeezed. Let me get a towel and clean that up. There we go. That should be good enough. I see about going ahead and getting this. It's all that screw go flying in there. Okay. get the right bit of my screwdriver this actually has a square it, it has a Phillips but there's also a square bit and it just so happens my multi-tool here I can find the square bit that's the right size that'll be best that'll get the most grip there you go that'll help me to get the best grip on that Trying to do this where you can see with the camera. Let that dry and set up and uh, that one should be good to go. Ready for the next camping trip. I'm gonna move my clamp over now that I've got that on. Put it right, right in the center. There you go. On to the next project. What I what I did notice is that on this one over here, it just kind of snaps in, and I can pull it back out with my finger. Um, I do believe the spring has gone bad in that one. It's not nearly as tough as the one that was on the other side. So I think this one here is going to have to get replaced. So off to Amazon I go to order me a couple of these drawer holders. Well, okay. Well, the drawer closers that I purchased a while back for that I was thinking about putting on this drawer, it's a little bit different. In this case, what we have is a piece that's going to go on the drawer slide or the, the frame. And then here's the receiving hitch that goes onto the drawer itself. So this will move in. So when your drawer shuts, this will come up and it'll get to, to these two wheels and it squeezes in between them. And that's what holds your drawer shut. 
Now, sometimes this piece, this, uh, uh, this will start getting weak. And what you have to do on this is right here, this, this will start to squeeze in and get thin. And then all you have to do to fix that is take a screwdriver, a screwdriver or something and, and stick it inside here and, and pry it open a little bit to, to open that gap back out and it would resolve your issue. But uh, it's a different style that I'm looking to put on there to help it and assist it. But at this point in time, this is all I got. So I'm gonna use it. So here we go, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna to have to put a wooden support behind this one also, just to help hold it. I'm gonna angle this screw forward. Put a block behind here also to help uh, help support that so it doesn't try to teeter. Also to help strengthen this wood out here. It'll keep all this strong, keep those two screws from trying to pull out. And then I'll have to attach the one piece that goes on the drawer that comes and snaps into here. All right. Well, my first attempt at that, I was going to put I was going to put this up on the top. And when I went to put the drawer in, the drawer hit it. So. It looks like the bottom is where it's going to go. Don't really like it right beside the other one like this, but uh, you know, hey, that's all I got, that's all I got. So we're going to install this down here at the bottom. The screws are really close to the edge again. So I'm going to angle them, angle the screw so it'll go towards the center, you know, into the into the wood more at an angle. All right, so now I got to get the clip that clips into here, get this mounted onto the inside of the drawer, and we should be working. Well, all right, in order to get this thing to work, I had to move this clip way over here. I had it over here, but the receiver that's mounted to the drawer was really wide. So I couldn't mount I couldn't mount that clip onto it. So I've moved it over here. I'm gonna to have to put another supporting block behind here just to give this a little bit more rigidity and to help that out, make sure this doesn't try to tip because uh, it does overhang. Not a problem, just a little bit of wood glue and a block of wood. I've got plenty of that in the garage. And now I can get that other, uh, the receiver clip mounted onto the drawer. All right, so I've got it located. I do believe where I'm going to put this. So me, it's kind of awkward doing this where y'all can see it, but I think we can get it. And that screw just broke. <sighs> you can tell I broke off the I broke off one of the screws trying to put it on that side, so I went and got my awl, which is also known as a ice pick, and I'm using that to kind of pre-indent the hole for the screw this one don't match but you'll never see it there we 
go. All right, got the drawer in. That new latch is catching there. So it's got a pretty good tug on her now. I am gonna take this back off because I'm gonna put a piece of wood in there and glue it in to help support that. And then I'll put everything back together. All right, this one should be relatively easy also. This, this piston, this, the uh, rivet, top rivet came out of there. I don't think I'm gonna pop rivet it. I'm gonna use this a nut and a bolt. So I got a couple sizes here. A couple sizes I'm gonna try out. I'm gonna end up going to the hardware store and getting a different, different one though, because these are just regular screws. I want one that has a, uh, I wanna put a nylon washer on it. Nylon washers won't unscrew, they'll, they'll stay in place. And not back out. I could use. I've, I've got two bolts or two nuts for each one of these screws, so I'm, I'm going to set it up like a jam nut, where you jam the two nuts together, and that'll keep it from backing out. But uh, just to be sure, just to be sure, I'm going to uh, I'm going to get a nylon wash, a nylon nut for it, and that'll keep it from spinning. I may take a look. Yeah, pop rivets. The only thing you got to worry about a pop rivet is, is sometimes when you put the pop rivets on, uh, it's it's too tight, so it won't allow it to move. So kind of hard, kind of hard to hold this with one uh, one piston. We've had a lot of these air cylinders go out lately, not just on the cabinets. We have one on the we have one on the awning that's also out. I guess if I was smart, I would have unscrewed the piston. Okay. It's on, but I'm just gonna make it screw it in all the way. That holds the door open. And like I said before, I'll put two bolts on it, two nuts on it, and that'll act like a jam nut to hold it in place. That'll do it for now until I can get to the store and get a and get a true nylon washer. These might be just getting a little bit weak. The two on this other side are not wiggly at all. These seem to be getting a little weak. They're not screwed into the wood very well. But they're just getting a little weak, can't quite hold it up. So we might have to get us some new uh, new pistons for there. But uh, another quick project. Not too long, we'll be heading out. Hang in there. <laughs>